welcome back to the desk. When we left off, we were halfway through connecting our two source of section pieces together. Time to carry on. Once you've got the two bits all soldered together onto that bit of PCB and we've secured the PCB in place, we can do the final checks and bring the two parts of the source section together. At that point, we can bring the source section onto the body, and then all hell is going to break loose. Let's get on with it. Alright, with that all successfully connected up, I just need to secure this little bit of PCB down to make sure that nothing shifts around as I'm putting the pieces together, and then we can seal the saucer section up and move on with our lives. I had a pretty good feeling that the PVA probably wouldn't take, and indeed all the strain of the large quantity of wires going onto it is too much for the PVA. But I've tested it and not only is everything working correctly, but once the saucer section is glued together, the PCB will be pinned between two pieces of plastic. It's not going to go anywhere. So I'm not that worried about securing it down anymore. Which means that all we need to do now is glue the saucer into a single piece. That's had a chance to set overnight. Now we need to make sure that this is going to remain set. Which means that once I've taken this tape off, I need to make sure that this is firmly attached. Because if the saucer section comes off, well, it's not exactly going to be. You don't want to be fixing a model after you've put it together. I'll put it that way. And this is quite a large piece which means that it's, it's one really big bond, and if, if the bond hasn't taken in a longish stretch along here, then it could compromise the entire thing. So all I'm going to do is... Uh, I, I, I use the word gently, but I'm going to use more force than I am usually comfortable with, but I'm going to put the bond to the test to make sure that the saucer section is firmly attached. It's well bonded there. It's not... Ooh, hang on. Okay, so it's coming away a bit on this side. Looks like the bond didn't take very well there. Front seems good. This side seems a little loose. Okay, so there's a couple of places where it just needs touching up. Thankfully I fixed my precision super glue, which means I don't have to use that uh, brush. Which means I could, can actually get into these gaps. And I believe the first one was this bit over here. You just see it's very slightly coming away there, which means it isn't bonded at all. But the fact that it pulls away slightly means that I can get the precision nozzle in. Oops. The other option, of course, is to take the entire th uh, saucer off and try the glue again. But this should do it. While that's drying, I've had a chance to look at it myself, but for your benefit and the benefit of the video, I'm now going to plug in the saucer section as a complete unit. Here we go. And there it is. Obviously the navigational lights aren't plugged into the 555, so they're not flashing right now. But you can see that up and underneath, it's all fully lighting up nice and evenly, 
We're even getting some good light splash out the front for the Voyager registry num numbers. You can see the windows from all the relevant angles, so that they're not twinkling like they would if I didn't have that micro crystal clear in there. And obviously we've got some light gaps to fill in once we've finished with, with the glue. But it's looking really good. It's a really nice window pattern. I'm glad I went with what was in the instruction manual rather than trying to pick one out for myself. Whew, we're getting close now. We'll be moving on to finer details pretty soon. This is of course with a new microphone on the camera, so hopefully I don't sound quite as bad as usual. Let me know what you think in the comments, but until then, I'm Raven, and that's all from the desk. We can do final checks and bring the source to say so 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 so